Um, we kind of say if you're not bleeding or, you know, I haven't busted a lung or something by the time I get off stage, we haven't, you know, given our fans what they need or, or you know, I mean, what we kind of want to see in a show. Live performance came before any kind of recording, so it's, um, I mean, that's, that's essentially our strength, you know. Um, we, we, the record that we've just made, um, we wanted to strip away, I mean, there's so many myths and stuff surrounding what it is to record a good song and all that sort of stuff, and I had these things, I think, implanted in my head what that is, you know, it's got to be that producer who did that, that you know, work with those bands and all that sort of stuff. And we, we've we taken that, that whole element away and it's actually, I mean, about capturing a really good live performance. Watching that film probably wouldn't have had a bigger impact on me if it wasn't for my dad's enthusiasm and passion for for the music in that film, I reckon. But um, I was so intrigued with this sound that I'd never really heard from. I mean, I'm from Wangaratta, this small little town that wasn't really exposed to much music except for the, you know, the local radio station which played, you know, the pop classic hits and stuff. So when I heard that and, you know, my dad's enthusiasm and, you know, the, the culture of, um, you know, the music from the 20s and 30s, I kind of, I actually wagged school and um, watched the film 12 times. It was my first wag. <laughs> Never shall I seek another lover I found my other heart You are the only thing I want to come Big inspirations is Betty Davis. Um, she was, um, I mean, she was so controversial for her time, you know. She was doing things that other women weren't doing on stage and, you know, she was directing the band, she wrote all the music. Um, she was married to Miles Davis and then they broke up because she slept with Hendrix. And she was just an absolute powerhouse, her whole story. And then she disappeared because no one took well to her music or anything like that. I'm as weak as I am strong. I mean, of course, Janis Joplin, Aretha Franklin, mm. I'm the hugest fan, Etta James, Ella Fitzgerald. Those kind of women inspire me to um, just be true to yourself, like constantly, and really, you know, push, push through whatever somebody might say to you, or, because lots of people have an opinion when you are standing up and putting yourself out there. I mean, I got throat nodules um, a few years back and I had to stop singing for 18 months and it was the first real time that I had to stop, I, I, I couldn't sing. So I was kind of imitating a lot of these singers and learning the tricks, but to only just listen is was the biggest blessing. I want to be entertained. I want to, you know, there's so many wonderful musicians all around the world and, you know, there's musicians that sit in the corner and might sort of do that or, you know, there's these kind of like Elvis type people or, you know, that kind of visual entertainment is so much a part of the music as well. So we like people to walk away and may possibly be inspired. Yeah.